Hey girls, Jamie here, and with the weather going from cold to colder, I'm ready to bring out all of my winter wear. And I do that by putting on a jacket over my t-shirts. Hey, what can I say, I'm not exactly a fashion guru. <laughs> Thank goodness I've got some DIY skills to the rescue. Get ready as I show you how to dress up any outfit with your own beaded statement necklace. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for your necklace, you're going to need beads, beads, and more beads. Feel free to choose them in any size, shape, or color. You're also going to need crimp beads, invisible jewelry wire, flat-nosed pliers, scissors or wire cutters, chain, jump rings, and a clasp closure. All right, let's beat it, beat it. Everyone wants to beat it. Michael Jackson. Step one, the first step is to measure your cord to your desired length. Simply wrap the cord around your neck and over your chest to get a rough estimate. Now I want my necklace to have three tiers, so I made my cords a little bit shorter each time. I ended up with strands that were 22, 20, and 18 inches long. The next step is to add on your starting crimp beads. Now crimp beads are sort of like jewelry bead bookends. To use them, you'll place your longest strand through one crimp bead and then through one jump ring. Pull that strand back over the jump ring to hold it in place and then back again through the crimp bead. Using your flat nose pliers, squish that crimp bead to lock in your wire to the jump ring. Now if you only want one strand of beads, then you're all set to start beading. However, if you want more tiers just like me, then you need to lock in each new tier with another crimp bead. So in other words, since I have three layers total, I'll repeat this step two more times with the same jump ring. Slipping one end through the crimp bead, then the jump ring, and then looping the strand around the ring and back through the crimp bead, finally flattening the bead with your pliers. Step three. All right, now the fun begins. It's time to actually start stringing your beads. I sort of had this winter green theme in mind. So to achieve that look, I placed 20 small shiny green beads down each strand. Then I switched to a bigger, darker gray bead until I got just before the center of the necklace. That's when I added in five rectangular beads to complete the center of the bottom layer, using only three of them for the second layer and then skipping them entirely for the top layer. To keep everything symmetrical, I mirrored my pattern by reverting back to dark gray beads and then finishing off with another 20 of the small shiny beads. I'm a bead, I'm a bead, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bead. Black eyed peas? Huh? Anyway. Once you're done designing your necklace, it's time to lock everything in place by using a finishing set of crimp beads. Just like you did in step two, thread one strand through a crimp bead, through your jump ring, back through both, and then flatten with your pliers. Repeat this step for as many strands of beads as you have. The final step is to create a closure for your necklace. I added about three inches of chain to each jump ring. Then I attached a cute toggle clasp to the ends of the chain. If you wanted your necklace to hang a little bit lower, then all you have to do is add more chain to each jump ring. And there you go, a gorgeous beaded necklace that really makes a statement. Now that you see how easy this necklace was to make, play around with your own design. Instead of doing three tiers, just do one or do five. And instead of making the strands different lengths, just keep them all the same length and then wind or braid them together from jump ring to jump ring in order to have a chunky necklace. It's totally up to you. Now I will admit that the original cost of this craft was about $20 and I know that you can get statement necklaces in stores for about that price. However, I have so many materials left over that if I wanted to make more necklaces as gifts, then they would cost less than $5 each. Plus, you know me, there's always something to say about making your fashion your fashion. Oh, hey Jamie, sweet necklace, where'd you get it? Oh, this out of nowhere, just my brain. Check it. How did you make your own beaded statement necklace? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. For more DIYs just like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Once you're done designing your necklace, it's time to lock everything in place by adding on a finishing scent of crit, crit, scent of crit, scent, finishing scent. Penny for your thoughts or lack of them, apparently. Um, excuse me, my eyes are up here. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, no, this is awesome too.